This is EdTech Moment, where we take a moment to help you integrate technology into your classroom. Once again, we're working on our Google Sites, and today I'll show you how to add a customized logo and background graphic to the header of your page. Let's get right into it. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to customize our header. Okay, the header is this area up here where we have our site title. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a logo into the header. I'm going to go into Edit Site Layout and click on Header. Okay, now under the height, you can see, or here, under Select Logo, I have selected no logo. So I'm going to click Custom Logo and I'm going to browse to my desktop to uh, find the little logo that I have saved there. It's an EdTech Moment logo and open it. So there's my little logo. I will choose to make the height match the size of the logo and then I'll click OK and you can see that that logo now has been added in along with my site title which is very cool so let me click close and now that's been saved another setting that really helps to customize your site and give it a very personal feel is to add a background image into your site header so to do that I go back to my more menu into the manage site page and this one is a little bit hidden, and I have to go back into my colors and fonts section. This is a section we looked at last week. And if I scroll down through here, you can see I have a page background, background image, and I want to find the one that says site header background image. Okay, and then click custom, add file. And now I've taken a little screenshot of my desktop picture. This is a uh, screenshot that is 1,000 pixels by uh, 1,000 pixels wide by 150 pixels tall so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in so I'll hit open there and it'll upload that image you can see here that that image I get a little preview there I can choose whether it loops or not okay so whether it uh, so whether it repeats itself and I'm going to choose no repeat and then I'm going to save that once I've saved it I need to use the link to get back to the site so now you can see I've added that in. Again, if I don't like how high the header is or I have an issue over here where my image was not wide enough because my site is set wider than my image is, I could go in and make it repeat or I could come in, edit the site layout again and change the width of the site. So I'll click custom and I'll make it into, I know my heading is um, 1000 pixels, PX and hit enter. There we go. So now it's adjusted there. And now it fits really nicely. Uh, I think I might even want to increase the height of. So I know that it's 150 pixels tall and click OK. And I get a nice thicker header there. So now we've gone in, we've changed the font, we've changed the theme, we've changed some of the colors, we added a uh, logo graphic to our header and then a background graphic to our header and now you can see it's really starting to look much less like the theme like the default theme that we started with and much more like a very customized website thanks for watching edtech moment be sure to come back next week as we learn to add valuable content to the web pages themselves including text pictures and embedded videos in the meantime visit edtechmoment.com to find more great edtech tutorials like this one and tell a friend that you think might be interested in using these tools as well. EdTech Moment is pleased to announce our continuing deal with Audible.com. Audible.com is your source for over 100,000 downloadable audiobooks. Audiobooks are great to use in the classroom for story time or have kids listen with headphones as they follow along on the page to support literacy skills and comprehension, or even get kids connected to literature before they're even able to read themselves. Use our special link, audibletrial.com slash edtechmoment to set up your trial account and download your first book free. Audible.com also has the ability to gift books. So if you're still in need of some last minute gifts for the Christmas season, consider giving an audiobook or a subscription from audible.com. Bill and I hope that these videos have added some value to your teaching in your classroom. And if you'd like to show your appreciation, please visit our tip jar on the website, where you can give any amount that you feel appropriate. Or, if you would just like to help out, follow our link over to the iTunes store, subscribe to the show feed, and leave a rating or a review. These reviews help us get featured in the store and make it easier for others to find the show as well. You can also tweet questions and comments to us at EdTechMoment or email at feedback at edtechmoment.com. 
we are always happy to create episodes that answer your specific questions and needs. And of course, thanks for taking just a moment.